Hey everyone, welcome back to this series. I hope you are enjoying it, learning about NPM a lot. If so, consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. With that, we'll move on and we'll get started with a new thing. Now you know how to manage node versions. Uh, you have your uh, node and NPM already installed and you know how to switch between different node versions and you know what is NPM is, what YAN is. Now let's do one thing. Let's create a simple project and you know start using uh, NPM in that. Right. So if I go to my command line and do NPM minus V or like this will give me a version and this you should be doing uh, when you feel like check like NPM is working or not. Right. So I don't know why it is so slow, but it is have it is installed. So I can do uh, NPM minus minus help to see few commands that will be useful to you and we are going to use few of them right so if you go here and if you go here and see there is a command known as init yep this particular command so this init command what it does it 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 initializes a project with npm it initializes a npm project it initializes and creates a new file uh, that will see that manage our dependency uh, on a project so let's go ahead and do npm init right if i do npm init uh, let it take time uh, my system is a bit slow it takes it asks a package name uh, first of all so let's see let's take like npm teach is the package right i go ahead enter it asks for versioning uh, there is a lot of things that happens when versioning a package when it is developed in a big corp or it's developed in open source there is a lot of decision making happening uh, so let's name it 001 uh, description this package is just for learning npm i press enter it takes an entry file right whenever you run uh, npm commands right it's it goes to that entry file notebook module resolution take this entry file and start working on it right so let's let's keep it index.st uh, this only test command leave it blank git repository leave blank ideally you create a git repository for your project you just enter that git repository link here keywords whenever people are searching on github or anywhere any search engine this keyword could be useful to that for SEO right you can enter that as well author you name the uh, enter the name of the author you provide the license right be it MIT be it IC be it anything I'll keep it just default so about to write uh, this particular thing in packet.json right yes or no if I click enter it goes and write that file now if I see my directory right let me open this particular uh, folder in vs code I do code dot dot it opens vs code in this particular uh, directory let me go there and open it so it's opening yes I trust the authors and I close this Yep. So you see that this has generated a package.json file in this particular uh, particular repository in this particular project structure. Now, one thing important thing to understand is what this package.json do. In simple terms, it manages the metadata for your project. In simple terms, it manages the metadata for your projects. What metadata? What is the name of the project? If this project is published as a npm library what will be the name of the npm library what is the version it is having what is description and what is the index file what is the like indexing file starting point entry point of that file there are other commands as well that you can register like start uh, like you know run or pre-install pre-install or uh, you know install there are a lot of command you can do and you can run directly npm run whatever command you registered and you mentioned the action that needs to be done. For example, if I run npm start, I'm telling that do node uh, index.js, right? So this is how it works, right? It, it will have the script. It will have other metadata as well, right? Now comes the trickier part. Now comes the important part. This whenever you install a dependency where it will be listed in this particular package or JSON file. So there will be one more 
key will be added known as disk dependencies right and this particular object will contain your dependency as a key value pair for example i want to install axios right so i'll it will have something like this we don't directly modify this file we do through the npm uh, command line right for example uh, install axios and it will have some version right so this is this is uh, it will it will be having this is the way it will be having this will have some uh, version and uh, th that will be directed right but this is the thing that we don't do manually we ask our npm to do that and i hope you have understood this one what packet does this and means and what it contains what metadata it contains and in the next video we'll install a, a dependency package or module npm1 whatever you like to call it and see how it works for this video this is it i hope you have understood what packet does json do and why it is mean for i'll see you next time till then take care and make sure that hit that subscribe button i'll see you next time till then take care